Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown, Vols fans. I'm your host, Bull. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the film of our newest commitment, Travis Smith, four star wide receiver, listed at six foot three, 200 pounds from Westlake High School in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're able to beat out the University of Georgia, Alabama, and Auburn for his services. I know that everyone does not believe in the player ratings and all that. You like to look at the offers. So here's the offer list. He has 35 offers. You can see that it's from some major programs. He is a dog, he's a stud. Very excited to get into his film. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so first play, catch the ball on what looks like a slant. And that's a good job because he makes this catch with a man right on his back. And look at all the space that he has. I love the way that he's running to the sidelines. Nice stiff arm. He has pretty good straight line speed right here. It looks like it might be a little bit more of a glider, but he probably looks... A, a step or two slower, I would say, than what he actually is. He's taking up a whole lot of ground. Now, look at this slant route. This is another good one. Turns the cornerback all the way around. Boom. Hard step to the outside. Makes the catch right here in traffic, and it's a bad throw. Kind of high, but that just shows that he's got that toughness and physicality that you want in a wide receiver, uh, you know, on this team. Boom. Makes the catch in between three people. And then at this point, what we're seeing is that speed. He's getting an extra 10, 15, 20 yards. Puts his team right there uh, next to the goal line. Now, I like this. Let's go back right here. Let's see this one again because he's getting into a little bit of a personal battle. This kid's trying to give him the business, but he body slams him. We need those dogs on the outside, man. This is the SEC. If you want to win championships, you got to have that. Now, quarterback's kind of in some duress, but great job here. He's not even necessarily open, but he is open. It's because he's got that height. And watch this. Boom. How points this football? Okay, he goes up and gets it at the highest point. He's got a nice bird. He's probably at about 10-4, something like that. Uh, you know, as far as where his hands are, where he's catching that football at. So those are the types of things that you want to see from your wide receivers, especially these bigger guys, exactly what we're looking for in this class. You can tell he has a little something to say to the cornerback about it. You got to love that. Right here, okay, this is a straight go route. And what he does is he gets behind the cover. So it looks like they're trying to squat. This is, uh, looks like maybe it's supposed to be cover two, but they're bracketing him with the cornerback and with the safety. I like the way that he's very smooth, number one, in his routes. Gets open, throws that hand up, and look at the way that he tracks this football. I think that's the most impressive thing about this. You know, just tracks it right over his shoulder, right there on the sidelines. He has great body control, especially for a bigger guy here. On this goal line, boom, they just gave him that inside release all day long. That's easy. I think that might have been an option route. We do that a whole lot in our system, so it's good to know that he can kind of, you know, handle that. Here, gets to the inside. I love what he does at the line of scrimmage. That's really nice. I know it's kind of subtle, but I definitely want to point that out. At the line of scrimmage, he's doing a good job uh, of getting his releases correct. If it's an inside route, you see that he's releasing to the inside. Outside route, he's able to release to the outside. That's typically what you see. That's high level. But right here on, I don't even know if that was a bang eight or exactly what that was, but I love the fact that he makes the catch again in traffic. He's dragging bodies. He's tough. He's strong. He's physical. The, you know, the exact body type, the exact sort of a player that we needed. Here, he's tracking it again on the sidelines. Did he get in right there? They're saying that he did. I love it. Okay, I absolutely love it. Boom. Long strides. He's definitely one of those long striders. Double coverage, beautiful catch. This is a different one, but kind of the same results, right? It does not matter if you double team him. You got to make a play on the football. He's going to force you to do that, and he's going to he's gonna get a whole lot of pass interference uh, calls as far as I can see right now. I love this because what he's going to do right here, okay, boom, just to start it off, he's going to get to the inside right here. He's going to get inside of this cornerback. And then he's going to work right behind this safety. And, it, you know, it works beautifully with this route combination. That's exactly what we wanted to have happen, okay, as far as the offensive coordinator is concerned. But at this point, the way that he sets it up is really why he has so much space. You see all this space for the quarterback to make this throw. That is very uh, quarterback friendly. And we know that our quarterbacks are going to be very friendly right back to him because some of these passes and things like that aren't perfect. But with us, they're going to be a lot better. Now, here, I like this. This is a hitch. He's definitely going to be expected to do this. Think about Bruce McCoy. He does this a lot for us. Sometimes you just got to sit one down, okay, get us a quick first down, whatever, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten yards. He can definitely do that for you here, blocking on the outside. We saw this before uh, with Mike Matthews. So love to see that this trend is continuing as far as getting wide receivers that are not afraid to, to engage with the blocking aspect of it. Right here, did he do a little double move here? Let's see this again. Okay, he's going up. Okay, yeah, he kind of stops for a second. Doesn't even necessarily fool that cornerback, but it didn't need to because there was nothing that he could do to stop that catch from happening. 
here. Oh, man, they just throw it off for grabs to him. That's a ridiculous catch. That's monstrous. Let's see it again. Boom. How points it. And that's very tough. Okay, we talked about that earlier today. You have to be able to make those tough catches. He can most definitely do it. All right. And that looked like that was a little bit of a slant and go, kind of a fade. But, I, I, yeah, that's actually what that was. That was really a fade. But he kind of bends it to the inside, stems it to the inside just to create a little bit more separation. So really nice routes so far for us. Lined up very close to the line of scrimmage. Now, this one does look like maybe it was, it was supposed to be a bang eight. Sees that his quarterback gets in trouble. He's scrambling to, um, to the quarterback's left and to his right. But he does a good job of fighting back over there. Makes the catch again in traffic. And this is good straight line speed. I wouldn't say that it's great, but it's definitely good for his size. We'll be able to get him open. You know what I'm saying? We'll be able to get him into the end zone. Probably won't have to do a whole lot of yak for us, but more of a tough yardage sort of a wide receiver. Bang eight again. Look at that, man. Making a catch and knowing that he's about to take a shot. Doesn't even care. He's unconscious right here. Boom. Make the catch and still falls forward. That's a big, strong young man right there. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Here we have him uh, kind of playing. Okay, yeah, so he's a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage again. Playing on the short side of the field look how many people that have dedicated to him and again y'all it just don't even matter you can't stop him i think i may have seen enough you know what i mean look at that boom another one and this is good straight line speed let's see if he gets into the end zone all right so we're going to close it out on that all right so starting off with travis's athleticism grade we're seeing that he has pretty good straight line speed what i love about him though is that he's got great hops and he's got great hand out coordination that is a part of being athletic i think that he tracks the ball better than anybody that we've broken down film on in this class, maybe than anybody in this entire class, period. He's the best that I've seen so far. So I love that about him. You can tell that he's also deceptively fast. He's very smooth. I got to see him in person, and I was kind of blown away just by how smooth he is. But just because he does not have that great straight line speed, I cannot give him five stars in this category. We're going to go with four stars right here. Now for toughness and physicality, we see him kind of getting into some personal battles, body slamming people. Looks good going out and blocking on the outside. He also is very willing to make very tough catches on the sidelines in the middle of the field, whether he's going to be taking a shot or not. Five stars right here, in my opinion, for sure. Next is going to be Travis Smith's route running grade. I love what he's doing right here. Again, he's very smooth, does a great job of uh, getting off of the line of scrimmage. I love the way that he can stem to the inside or to the outside. And he also sets his routes up beautifully. He's going to get open all the time. I love the way that he uses his body as well on some of these comeback routes. I'm going to give him five stars in this category. And finally, for Travis Smith's hands grade, great hands all the way around. It doesn't matter if he doesn't have a whole lot of resistance or if there's a lot of resistance, if the balls are high, if he's being double covered, triple covered, uh, if it's out across the middle, if it's on the outside, it does not matter. He has phenomenal hands. And again, great tracking ability, beautiful hand out coordination. We're going to give him five stars on his hands. All right, and just to recap on Travis Smith's grades, we gave him four stars as an athlete, five stars on toughness and physicality, five stars as a route runner, and five stars with his hands, which brings his blue chip overall grade to four stars. And he's exactly what we needed in this class because we're probably going to be losing several players that have this sort of a body type and style. He's six foot three, almost six foot four, about 200 pounds, expecting that he'll probably get up to about 220 before it's all said and done, but runs beautiful routes and he's tough. He's a dog. He's going to make those. Tough catches that we need in the SEC. I think he's a great addition to this class. Could not be any more excited, especially because we beat them doggone dogs out for him. And I know that they're probably crying about it. But let me know y'all stops down in the comment section. That's it for this one. As always, y'all, please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with your friends, family, and other volunteer fans. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks. Peace.